Hello, we love you, we care about you, you're in our prayers. Wherever you are, whatever time you find this, we invite you not only to watch and listen, but to join with us in prayer and praise and service and worship. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the last hymn that will be in our worship service today. A few years ago, I performed a wedding for Chris and Christina Lutfi, and later I had the opportunity to baptize a couple of their children. This Sunday, they will be back again, and I expect that I will be baptizing their youngest, Hannah, a year old. I was looking for a hymn for after the sermon today that would relate to baptism, and I looked in the Pilgrim hymnal and found one. I liked the words, the tune was familiar, and as I looked at it, the name of the author seemed familiar for some reason. So I looked it up and found out that he was a preacher who had been born in the 1880s, started his ministry in 1908. He preached in Wisconsin, Michigan, several other states, and one of the notes said, and perhaps in California as well. So I looked him up on the internet again and found that the UCC church in Laguna Beach has a courtyard in the middle of the church that's named after Philip Gregory. As they said, our beloved pastor emeritus. He had been the pastor there for many years. And then I put it together. I went back to the church records of Hillcrest. And sure enough, between the time of Dr. Rust and Dr. Haskell, there was an interim minister, 1964-65, named Philip Gregory. So one of the former pastors of this church, who was here for a short time, was the author of one of the hymns in the Pilgrim Hymnal. We hope you will enjoy it. I'd like to begin today with a call to worship that's adapted from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God will not let your foot be moved. God who keeps you will not slumber. God who keeps Israel will never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. God will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Let us pray. Well, loving God, we thank you that you are with us throughout our lives, that you are with us in our coming in, you are with us in our going out. We thank you that you shelter us and protect us and bless us and provide for us in so many ways. We thank you for the church and for our wider Christian family. We thank you for the Lutfi family, for Chris and Christina and their child, Hannah. We pray for them this morning as they come so that Hannah may be baptized. We thank you for our own baptisms, for our own times of learning and growth in faith and all that that has led us to. We pray for those who are sick and hurting. We pray for those who are lonely and isolated. We pray for those who are lost and confused. We pray for those who are struggling with mental illness of so many kinds. We pray for our world. We pray for people in places that are beginning to clean up and rebuild after fires and floods and hurricanes. We pray for people who are living in places that are at war now and those who are living among the ruins and trying to rebuild their lives. Help us to live towards peace. Help us to stand for what is important. We thank you for all good gifts. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Watch for the other video.